Welcome back to another The Art of Mixing Breakdown. Let's have a look at let's have a look at the uh, new clip here. And we should just press record two one and uh, let's 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 rock and roll. Yeah. Bay. Just gonna watch a little bit and then In one of the early episodes, we talked about um, harmonic mixing, ear training, um, developing a practice into picking the right songs, understanding which ones go together and all that. Uh, if you haven't watched that, I would encourage you to, to watch that one. I think it's about seven, maybe eight, seven or eight. And what you're going to see in, in this clip is one of... It's one of my favorite moments in in in, in this mix. Um, you when you are um, when you when you've when you've gotten to the stage that you're able to um, use your um, you use your ears appropriately to listen to the melodies of different songs and pinpoint which ones are going to work well together. What you'll notice here, I encourage you. To listen out for, for, for the melody. Um, and what you'll find is that the lead melody, the instrument, the instruments that, that I use um, have a similar characteristic, and um, they are able to work with one another almost in in a way that complements complements them. Um, another uh, more, um, I guess, um, terminology, musical terminology you can use is you can, uh, you can almost say that we are experimenting with um, the musical aspects of counterpoint. Um, this is quite a um, complex area in music um, that um, it's outside of the scope for, for what I want to do here. But one aspect of that, if we, if we simplify, uh, the way I look at, at, at Counterpoint is you're able to take, um, how can we put this? So we can have one melody that's providing support for the one that's coming. That's the way I, um, that's one aspect that you can you can take from that. So, and we can have one main melody, but then there you can have a counter that's providing support for that main one that you, you are wanting to um, present. Another way you can look at this is you can have a um, call and an answer. So we can apply um, in the mix a, a melody in one song that's providing um, a call, that's providing a question. And then we can take that and counter that with another melody that's going to give you the answer. It's going to give you the full um, melody that, that close. It's going, to, it's going to start and it's going to finish. It's going to round off and continue and give you a, a satisfaction, a release. And when I listen to this, We're not only just, you know, building, 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 building. We have a melody here that is a little bit shorter. But musically, it's not, not complete. So when we think about, okay, music creation, when we think about melody, Avicii was um, just the king at this. You would have, um, um, how's that wake me up, girl? Um, Tell 
So the full melody is that. So we got ba ba so da 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 la la da no ba 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 la la ba la ba 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 ba. And here we're going ba 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 ba. See how we're just building and building and building. It's almost it almost gets irritating when you keep going because it's not giving you the the satisfaction, not giving you the answer. Um, and we're sort of doing that. We're giving we're giving a bit of irritation. Um, you know, we're not giving the answer. We're allowing it to build, to build, to build. So then we can do, we can do, we can do the full melody. Well, a different. <laughs> Let's go in a circle. Cool. Um, we can do a different melody of a song, but it's a full length melody. It gives you the answer that you're looking for. So it gives you the call, and then it gives you the answer. And then it's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, cool. I can I can vibe with this. The reason it's one of my favorite parts is because now it gives you the freedom to experiment and we can just have a, a bit of fun now. now um, it's, it's in a moment where um, we're just cruising. We're just cruising, we're allowing the song to, to play. We're just allowing things to breathe a little bit. And I, th I feel that it, it, in any mix you do, there needs to be a moment where, you can, where we, your things can breathe. You just need to be like, okay, cool. Um, you know, we've done the opening sequence, we've developed the story. Now, let's just give a bit of a breath. Let's, you know, watch some cool, you know, um, cars, you know, drifting up a mountain or something like that. Let's just, you know, um, there's a great scene in Tokyo Drift. Uh, Fast and Furious, um, where they just, you know, they're in some mountains um, in Japan, just cruising um, and at night and you're just watching. And it's like, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. It's just a cool moment because you're able to watch a cool scene, but at the same time, there isn't like a lot happening that you have to pay like, you know, just close attention to what's going on. So it gives you just a bit of release. They just chill, you know, before it becomes like super intense again. So you notice here, I am trying to sort of go with the but it's sort of it's sort of working, sort of not working. Uh, we're just experimenting. Like I've mentioned, I encourage you to, to try this and, and just experiment. Sometimes it's going to work. Sometimes it isn't going to work. Sometimes, you know, in between. So there, it's cool because it adds even more of that, that you know, stutter. Um, and it's a bit of flutter, you know, effect um, to change it up because there's something obviously it's quite known. Uh, people probably heard it like you know, a million times. Um, and we're just adding something different, something unique to it, just to spice things up. So you can see how everything we've talked about in the past videos is now all coming together. We are, uh, you know, we're, we're 
staying with the group, we're timing out these effects. We're not just badgering, you know, effects, effect, 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 effect. We're allowing the song to play, but we're giving it space, but we're adding in just, you know, every so often something nice and something just to keep people interested, to keep things just, you know, just uh, think, to keep things on, on their toes. This effect is very subtle, but it builds up. Essentially, I believe, I haven't double checked you know, what it is, but it's some sort of a double up echo delay that multiplies underneath. Um, and one thing I love about it is just, it don't, it's not immediate, it, it builds, and it's sort of, it's it just building, 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 building. You, know, you almost can't hear it, but it adds a nice texture underneath. You can uh, you can hear it, but it's not like in your face. And like we mentioned, you're, you're, you're using the effects with the music. You're complementing music. You've got the love. You know, um, you're not just, you got the, you know, you're not, you're not, it's like, you're, you're not just going, you know, you got that, uh, you got that, you know, and, uh, and just randomly picking, like, I even do it, you know, you're just, before the love, you know, you're just, you know, just adding random effects just for the hell of it. You know, I can hear a bit of, you know, that, like, a ping sound sort of, you know, happening. Um, you know, you can do even what I didn't do here, but you can have a bit of a cr crush on uh, on um, and just you know, bit, bit, you, know, uh, you know distort it a little bit. Um, you know, that could be something cool. There's many different things you can do. It's a subtle, um, it's a subtle change, like it's not a super high drop. And we're just adding in, you know, that sweep or noise, just add, we're creating our own, um, you know, additional build because I've listened to this song, I know what's about to happen and I, need, I feel that needs a bit more of um, a build-up. It needs a little more to give it just a bit more separation. And, you know, it's a great melody. Um, very, you know, simple, straight to the point. And get some message across. We don't need to add you know, a bunch of stuff on here now. Just let it breathe. It's a fantastic melody. It's a great moment. And just enjoy it. Take a break. Not that kind of break. <laughs>
it's always challenging when you are blending in, you know, essentially what is the next verse of a song um, into the beginning of another one. And especially when there's obviously vocals on both of them. Um, in this case, they work well together. Um, in some cases, it can get a bit blurry. In those cases, if you find that when you're doing it, it's, it's starting to clash, then adding in a filter um, is really cool. Um, you know, just, just adding a quick filter in can cut out a lot of the, the vocal and it's almost a good safeguard for you. So things can, you can focus on another one and you can add even some reverb, some delay to mask the, the, the first vocal so it doesn't interfere too much. Um, in this one, it's relatively clean um, because I felt that we could pull it off. But sometimes that's not the case. And that's one method of allowing it to sort of blend, blend in. One final thing, like I talked about, um, did I mention that? Okay, I'm not sure if I did, but um, when you're watching this, you know, go back and, 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 and Listen for, for the, the melody. Listen for the key melody and the sounds of the, of, of the melody. Which, what, and then the instrumentation is used, the claps, the, 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 the keys of the song, the harmonic, the harmonic content around it. You'll notice that it all, it all gels together. It feels like a continuation, this section. It feels just that it all comes together. That, you, know, you play one to another and they seem to glue naturally together. That that just takes time. It takes time to 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 get to get to that. Don't be frustrated by that. That just that takes just a long time. Um, it just comes to practice uh, developing your ear training um, and under, you know, and through that you're able to start picking out, you know, definitely obviously because I am coming from a, you know, a, a creation of, of music, I understand how the production side of things work. Uh, there definitely is obviously a, a, a big help. Um, but, you know, but, um, you know, whatever point you're in, it's best to just start, and, and the easiest way to do that is just to pick up an instrument. You know, you know, cr the creation of music, it's quite a steep learning curve, especially any of the you know, digital softwares, um, you know, or, you know, production, electronic production of music has quite a steep learning curve. It can feel very overwhelming, but you know, picking up a guitar, the, the piano is a, very is a very good beginning instrument because it just works. Uh, and a guitar has a lot of different parts. Uh, you constantly have to tune it. Um, you got strings, um, and you always want to get a good, decent, you know, guitar that's easy, easier for you to play at the beginning. And there's a lot of other things, but the piano is very straightforward. You know, particularly you have um, an electric one. You just play the note, and it works. <laughs> you know, it's in tune all the time, and you can always change the effects, keep it interesting. Uh, and I would encourage you, if you are, you know, wanting to get into, into an instrument, definitely the piano is a good good start. Um, it might not be adding the, the coolest instrument, but it's a great start, and it helps a lot um, for developing your, your, your um, ear training. Uh, but let's quickly have a look. So, very high end. Not super high, but it's a high register melody. It's almost like a sort of a piano synth. Now we're going up the octave. And when you have this, you have this sort of classic Avicii sort of um, synth. Uh, uh, that he, you know, synth piano that he loved, he loved to use. I think it was a Nexus. Um, he loved to use, you know, this sound. It's a, it, it, it's a classic Avicii sound. Okay, 
Now, as we as we go, you see how the textures, the, the, the blending together. Okay, now we have you know very simple, um, you know, um, uh, very cadenced um, lead melody in a similar texture. It's almost, you know, for the listener, it's okay, we're just, you know, we're, we're, we're making the melody quicker now. We're, we're naturally creating um, a progression. And we're not having to, you know, you know shorten you know, things from you know, um, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4 bars. We can naturally progress um, the, the music uh, um, through, and we can create um, a transition through the music. Okay, cool. So keep going. So you create in this, you know, in this mashup, you have that, you know, that cadenced, uh, you know, lead melody. Then you have the original melody that's coming in, um, and it's creating this tension. Going back to the original one that we had when we transitioned into the song. Now, I, I, will, I will mention there is a bit of the, stor the distortion and compression happening from this one. There's not much I can do from that right now because I prefer this setup. Um, but um, just because it's more about you know mixing wise, it's it's okay. Um, but you know, pay attention to the, uh, the 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 claps, the instrumentation, not uh, not as much as the lead melody. Okay. So we have the claps, yeah. They're very bright, which is quite 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 standard. Notice as we're now we're transitioning, the, the songs in a similar texture. We have very bright claps and snares, the vocals quite bright. Um, and we have this similar melodic texture happening. And this helps um, with you know the vocal that they, they, they work harmonically well together it's not standing out you know like what's going on and that helps blend blend the, the the songs together So you can hear the guitars sort of taking over the, the that that lead melody here. We have similar, like I mentioned, um, drum instrumentation. And and stop here. Fantastic. Okay, so um, through, through that, I hope that you, you can sort of see how we can um, create. Um, these sort of um, uh, moments um, within within the mix that carry a similar melodic um, um, characteristic through, um, and we can create um, more of a feeling, more of um, an emotion in in the mix rather than just you know um, a meaningless sort of you know. Five second, you know, more, you know, twenty second, you know, changeover, and then straight into another super hard drop. Um, they those have their moments, um, but at the same time, you need to have some substance as well. You need to have some some glamour in, in your mix. You need to have some some weight, something that that will glue it all together. That will, will, will people will remember. People. Um, will remember you know, um, more the emotion of, of the mix, a beautiful moment um, that you know we can all come together, that the friends and all, all of them can come to come 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 together in that moment. Um, that's what creates a memorable set for me. 
So when you listen to something like you know, this, I, I hope that you know, it leaves you rem to remember. Oh, I and mean, that's when they, you know, that sort of you know mashup, you know, that came in, and it's, it was very melodic and remind me of Vici and when I used to do this, and you know, it was so cool. We can hear like a nice blend to like the eighties funk and all this other stuff, um, and like you know the the um, um, eighties funk. Um, <laughs> Can't beat that, um, and you know the earth, wind, and fire, and all that kind of stuff. So you bring all these nice memories back, but then you you're allowing things to breathe, um, and you're creating you know a nice um, 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 a moment that um, helps you know give a bit of release and just carry the mix through, uh, and then you can slowly start building back up. Okay, thank you so much for watching as always. Um, and I hope that it's encouraged you to, to go out and uh, try this. Once again, please don't feel discouraged by something like this. Um, I come from um, a very um, uh, you know, rock, metal, um, you know, mu um, musical background. Um, you know, um, and I've, I've spent you know, years painstakingly, <laughs> painstakingly I must say, um, you know, learning, um, doing things I necessarily didn't want to do, didn't understand at the time, um, but now they sort of all coming to, it's all coming back and coming to the, coming together. So um, just just keep pursuing and keep pushing yourself um, to 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 get better. And over time, you will develop the, this skill. Uh, but one of the fantastic things about the software is that it does give you this. You know, advantage of of you know, using the 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 ability to for, for it to harmonically um, show you which songs work well together using the charts, using everything that you can, and as you do that, then you slowly start understanding okay, which ones work well together, and you slowly start picking up particular cadences, particular um, the particular keys, particular characteristics in the songs, and you can naturally start blending, you know. Um, the, ones together and your brain will, will, will spontaneously give you ideas It'll be like oh it gives you it has you know that muscle memory oh this song reminds you of this one this one reminds you of that one oh what if we try that one because it has a similar type of groove um or this 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 you know, drum beat reminds you of this drum beat oh cool let's use those together yep. um and that just takes time and, and, and patience uh, but as you just keep pushing yourself, it'll just naturally, naturally be part of your progression. Have a wonderful day, night, whatever. <laughs> and um, I'll catch you on the next one. All right, see ya. Bye-bye, bye-bye.